Lou Dobbs Tonight talks about the smear job used against President Trump by the fake news media and reporting that he had somehow erred or exaggerated in saying that Alabama was in the pathway of Hurricane Dorian as of last Friday night. Turns out the president was right, and the fake news media has yet to apologize. Before Lou gets to his examples of out outrageous reporting, I wanted to bring in one of my own that I found. The AP in an analysis by Jonathan Lemire said, Storm spat underscores Mr. Never Wrong's mindset. Well, that snide headline was accompanied by a line in the story, Trump has made a career of not acknowledging errors. I'm waiting to see whether Mr. Lemire acknowledges his error or whether he's made a career out of creating errors. Next, Lou Dobbs will tell, tell you like it is. The national left-wing media went apoplectic over the past few days, you, uh, you will recall. They were all claiming that President Trump was wrong when he said Hurricane Dorian uh, might uh, affect Alabama. Take a look at some of these headlines from the left-wing fake news media, as he puts it. CNN its headline was Anatomy of a Fiasco, a detailed timeline of Trump's Alabama map meltdown. And how about this one? Trump relentlessly defends use of altered Dorian map. My gosh, this is the stuff of which, I mean, Emmy Awards are made. The Washington Post, perhaps seeking a Pulitzer, writing, what I said was accurate. Trump stays fixated on his Alabama error as hurricane pounds the Carolinas. MSNBC with this headline. Trump tries to bully the truth into submission. And this one, not bad. Mystery marker, because he used a Sharpie, remember? Or someone did. Trump eyed in Hurricane Dorian map cover-up. This is the stuff, folks, of absolute, well, it's not exactly a, a mere loss of a sense of proportion on the part of the left-wing fake news media. This is madness, what we've witnessed over the last few days. And today, here we go. Uh, the snide and snarky set may uh, stand by. This is a heck of a spoiler for you all. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Agency confirming that it provided information to President Trump late last week and early this week that Dorian could in fact, affect Alabama. And this NOAA map from last Friday clearly shows just that. That Dorian could have been on a track. These are estimates and guesstimates uh, by our uh, meteorologists and the federal government, and it might have an impact on Alabama. This, of course, is a, a lesson to the national left-wing media. Uh, it isn't the first time that this lesson has been appropriate for them because they never win against this president, no matter how hard they try. So with this, maybe this will encapsulate the uh, lesson for the left-wing media. You mess with the bull, you get the horn. And you got the horn.